Hi, I'm Doug Heidenreich with Edge Tech Services, and today we're going to go over our uh, CROSS system. CROSS is an acronym for Coolant Recovery Oil Separation System. Behind me is our CROSS EC2200 CRS. 2200 means that we have 2200 gallons capability of holding in that uh, system, and CRS means Coolant Return System. Okay, right here we have the Coolant Recovery panel, the system control panel. We're going to be zooming in here in a minute and I'm going to be uh, explaining each button and then um, turning the system on and then we will walk around and and, dis and I'll show you how the uh, tramp oil separation section works and then the coolant return system works. Okay, here we have the, uh, the control panel. Off to the left here we have the auto switch and the manual switch for the clean uh, return pump, which uh, runs the, uh, the coolant return system. This particular uh, cross unit has two uh, oil sep tramp oil separation pumps, pump one and pump two. And I will turn those on in auto mode. And what that means is that pump will run until there is a, a low level switch um, and then the pumps will turn off and then once that level comes back up then those pumps will turn on automatically. In manual mode, the MAN mode, that overrides the level switches and allows you to just run those in manual mode. Um, and that might be useful if you have a low level switch but the fluid is still there to be able to run and pump through the uh, oil water separator. Uh, basically that's used in uh, startup mode. Now I'm going to turn on the uh, clean return pump um, also in auto mode. And what that will do is pressurize the line. Once the line is pressurized to about 40 psi it'll shut itself off until that uh, pressure drops again and then it'll, it'll pump it up to run. What that allows us to do is send that fluid and pressurize the overhead lines back to the machines, uh, the CNC machines, so that um, they can refill those sumps once they're evacuated of dirty coolant, or they can add back their five gallon, a minute, you know, five gallon per day or per shift loss um, to fill that sump back up, get it ready for their shift or their um, the shift after them. Once the pressure is um, met, you'll see pressure OK, and that means it'll shut shut off. Once that pressure drops in that line, that pressure OK goes away, and the pump will turn back on, um, as you see there. Okay, right here we have the uh, tramp oil separator pump. This is cost pump one. If you remember looking at the control panel, this would be cost pump one, this is cost pump two. They're both flowing into the uh, tramp oil separator. Uh, you have your bag filters here, and that's going to catch any uh, suspended solids those pumps are pulling in. In a little bit, we'll go over the, uh, the, the floats that are in the system. But right now with the top view going on here with the oil water separator, everything flows in, flows in uh, through the bag filters first, and then you have your tramp oil trough. The uh, fluid is forced underneath that trough through media pack, which you can't see right now. Uh, and that media pack causes the free oils uh, and mechanically dispersed oils to uh, float to the surface, and all this would be eventually oil. The uh, oil level would build up and then flow over into this tramp oil trough, and then gravity flow would be out over here. And then gravity flow would go into a tote, a drum, a five gallon pail, whatever the customer uh, desires. The clean fluid overflows here and goes into the clean fluid tank. This coupling also controls the entire level of the uh, oil water separator here. So when the system is installed, it's important that this is uh, level 
So if I raise this level, the whole fluid level will raise also. And the idea is that you want about a quarter inch of tramp oil to build up. And then as it reaches that quarter inch and more, the uh, oil will continually raise and then drain over that tramp oil trough. And that will be oil that comes out, not oil and coolant. The clarified fluid from the oil water separator fills the clean fluid tank and then overflows into the dirty fluid tank. The continuous cleaning cycle allows the cross to provide fresh, clean fluid to the shop floor at all times. To review the overall cycle again, the ballast skimmers pull the contaminated fluid from the dirty fluid tank into the oil water separator, where free-floating oils and mechanically dispersed oils are removed. The clean fluid overflows the fluid weir into the clean tank. When the clean tank becomes full, the coolant overflows the middle wall back into the dirty tank. Please contact EdgeTech Services with any questions or inquiries. Our phone number is 800-242-0525. Our email address is sales at edgetech.com. Thank you for watching this EdgeTech Services video.